it angers me because nobody knows what's going to come in the future. Elaine Hyman Risley, 73, lives in East Brunswick on a fixed income and has had three surgeries in the past couple years. She's worried that the Republican tax reform bill could trigger billions in federal budget cuts, including a $25 billion cut to Medicare, her literal lifeline. Medicare is not going to be enough to see me through any kind of medical emergencies. If there are cutbacks in Medicare, and the Medigap carrier has to absorb the difference, my premium's going to go up. Not by hundreds, but by thousands. And that makes me angry. Risley joined a group of politicians and advocates for the elderly from Middlesex County who expressed concerns to Congressman Frank Pallone about the pending crisis. The GOP tax cuts add one and a half trillion to the deficit, but congressional pay-as-you-go or pay-go laws say that must be balanced with spending cuts, an estimated $130 billion worth in 2018. That could slash programs across the board, and even though the law restricts Medicare cuts to $25 billion, it could burden already stressed seniors struggling to pay for health care, officials said. Some of those people cannot afford their medication. And let me tell you what happens when you can't afford your medication. You die. I mean, that's the way it is. So I don't get it. I don't understand how they are so lacking in response to the public and kind of saying to the public, we don't give a damn. Republican Tom MacArthur, the only New Jersey congressman to vote yes on the tax bill, said he would fight to protect these benefits for seniors. This is more dishonest fear-mongering from Democrats on an issue that is too important to play politics with. But Republican Speaker Paul Ryan explained on a radio show December 7th, cutting so-called entitlements is job one next year. So we're going to have to get back next year at entitlement reform which is how you tackle the debt and the deficit. But you have two things you've got to do. Reform entitlement programs, grow the economy. Um, and frankly, it's the health care entitlements that are the big drivers of our debt. So right. we spend more of our time on the health care entitlements because that's really where the, the problem lies, fiscally speaking. A spending resolution that will be introduced later this week to keep the government operating will reportedly offer Congress a chance to waive the automatic cuts triggered by PAYGO. But at least 189 House Democrats, including Pallone, reportedly say they will not vote for it because it raises spending and undercuts Obamacare. All this is going to be in this continuing resolution. It won't be a clean one. It'll just, it'll have all these things that are objectionable to me and to most Democrats. In, and then they'll throw in the pay-go waiver. But first, Congress must vote on tax reform. And a new Monmouth University poll shows nearly half of Americans surveyed disapproves of the tax reform bills, while 26 percent approve. The rest either want to wait and see or have no opinion. The tax bill votes expected to come tomorrow. Republicans say they've got the support they require to pass the measure. In New Brunswick, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.